very good afternoon to all i uh, uh, hope everyone is doing well and safe uh, riyadh uh, we can start uh, all right so yes. once again welcome to the day 3 of uh, this 7 days program where we are trying to explore the different skill set uh, right from the literature innovation robotics and all so today we have uh, you know uh, riyadh maruf uh, with us uh, he will be you know uh, uh, telling us more about literature and importance of literature and the specific to- topic is uh, idealizing uh, the literature so all right riyad uh, uh, all the best and uh, over to you thank you uh, shesha for the my introduction so good afternoon to everyone i hope uh, all of you are doing well so today uh, we're going to learn uh, means uh, cuz everything um, we connected towards literature and So let us have a, a glimpse of literature. Yes. Thank you. So uh, let us uh, given proper idea. Uh, let us idealize the literature. So here we go. So um, what is literature? There are uh, new um, thousands of meanings defined by numerous authors, and uh, one says here that Henry Van Dyke says the literature consists of those writing. which interpret the meanings of nature and life in words of charm and power touched with the personality of the author in artistic forms of permanent interest so uh you know in this short uh, wonderful definition we can uh, learn the aspects the perspectives of literature and uh means we all know means uh, we uh, i believe that all of you uh, read books and uh, some you can say uh, Secret Seven, Goosebumps, Harry Potter. These are one of the. Uh, these are some of the most famous books, series, and I guess you've all read it. So let's come uh, over to a historical expedition of literature. So um, now we used to um, buy books or read in e-books, just given in the picture. So means, do you know that a uh, lot of centuries ago? It's not centuries. You can see more uh, millenniums. You can millenniums. You can see that they start. I mean, they started with scripts, and the Sumerian civilization first developed writing around 3,400 BC, when they begin making uh, markings on clay tablets uh, in scripts known as cuneiforms. And at the present moment, now we know that means uh, people say we all means think that e-books were designed and means made in. Uh, the 21st century at this time but it happens to be born in the late 20th century so let us learn how so starting back in 1971 michael s hart launched um, project gutenberg and digitize uh, digitize the us declaration of independence becoming the first ebook in the world and um we could imagine means we always used to think that means ebooks uh, always comes uh, means uh, it has been developed at this age of means this uh, upcoming generation that is going growing up but it has it was developed at that time in 1971 and uh the from there uh from scripts to ebooks you can see before those um old uh very uh more than I means a lot of centuries just like the millenniums a lot of millenniums ago they used to uh, write in uh, these scripts and now see uh, from scripts it turned into books and from books it turned into ebooks and i guess uh, you're familiar with this uh, two faces one uh, is uh, william shakespeare the greatest playwright and author of the world and the other one is jk rowling and that's a um, famous name going uh, in this century where uh, children means are really attracted towards her book most famous book series harry potter so we all know william shakespeare as an english playwright a poet and actor who is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the english language and the world's greatest dramatist do you know he wrote 38 plays and 154 sonnets and three long narrative poems in the late 16th century and early 17th century and now in 21st century we come to know about Uh, J.K. Rowling, uh, who is a British author, philanthropist, film producer, television producer, and screenwriter, best known for the magical Harry Potter series, and uh, there are more series of J.K. Rowling means uh, that are means we also see them as uh, in movies. Uh, 
just like fantastic beasts and where to find them or fantastic beasts in the cranks of grindelwald and almost um now children uh have read read almost every book of harry potter those uh five five to seven books and it is also turned in movies and see you have uh been seen the change there an evolution of uh the style of literary writing change in publication designs a lot of things and you can see how those uh means old scripts those uh why you look means those pages mean now turned into those uh books uh, you can see in the picture jk rowling so it has turned means a uh, wonderful designing and everything so you can uh learn about means you can see the evolution of uh just like a show of scripts to ebooks you can see that uh the script picture and also now the ebook picture which is uh, uh we carry it everywhere anywhere in, even in we keep in pockets uh, if you means want to read in the mobile phones and you can see uh the evolution of literary writing those uh styles of writing from means william shakespeare to the present moment to now jk rowling so here was a glimpse of a historical expedition a journey, a trip uh, a historical trip of literature so uh let me tell you about my literary journey it was quite an exquisite literary journey and so uh when uh, i was in when i was 5 years old i wrote my first story a short a very short story of a cat and a mouse then at the age of 8 when i was uh, in grade 3 then i uh, means i was i did not means like uh, grammar much because means when we uh, think about those uh, means literature english grammar means we always come to those long answers and <laughs> means those grammatical errors and means it are said you to move means go round and round means what is this at when we were small then uh, means um, one day after the inval examinations and when i was grade 3 my english teacher complained to my parents that uh, your son is really means a uh, little poor in comprehension and paragraph writing story writing so they plan, uh, uh, together means plan for a punishment that uh, that could means uh, help me means make something good in means so that i can uh, secure good marks in literary literature and then uh, they gave me uh, means uh, my parents uh, the teacher assigned and my parents gave it to me to write uh, two paragraphs and one story so they completed two paragraphs in one or two days but the story was uh, really tough and i was thinking means what to do and means how means to frame a story means i used to read books means but also especially encyclopedias but i was uh, still means means i have seen authors means i uh, means i have seen books means i was thinking means means how much um, brilliant you need to be when i was small i used to think like that means how much means uh, very rare only rare people means can write and then i was um, then i i closed my eyes and means i just imagine means my uh, suddenly i fell into i when did i was caught in a dream and i was saw myself in a ship so i was seen as a sailor and i was uh, means i was slowly means dreaming means uh, there means i was uh, in the ship means suddenly a ship uh, crashed and i was moved uh, i was uh, flown away to a island and i was thinking like that means slowly uh, the dream is going away means and when the dream uh, was finished i when i opened my eyes means i thought me i should close my eyes again and then means i means i used to visualize means the story in my mind and then um means when the story was finished means like complete movie then i noted it down in my no began when uh, i took me means uh, at the third day means when third three days passed i couldn't do anything when in third day when i uh, found this idea then i noted it down and my parents helped me my teacher helped me and means they were uh, they really liked the story and uh, soon uh, when i was uh, in uh, grade 5 i wrote my longest story the first uh, the story's name was how we became magnificent of six superheroes uh, with supernatural powers and and my parents suggested me for another sequel of the story it's such uh, beautiful then i came up with my visualizing thing again and i 
means bro the next story then another then another story that i felt it would be wonderful cuz just like just as a reader i when i read it i was really curious means means what will be next and then i uh then my my and my parents my family said it means to compile it means as a, a book with three stories and then uh, in on 16 december 2018 i we came up that that means we should published this book and uh, the book was named uh, of its uh, for its first story how we became magnificent and uh, here is the photo of my uh, book which uh, i and i was uh, means means those imaginary things means help me uh, made uh, publish this book and we were means thinking that uh, yeah i wrote the stories i did everything but means how, how means i was means really new to this field so i was thinking means how means shall the cover design be? so means my father said means someone will do the cover design or something like that but i thought means i took the initiative that i'll do it and then i i, I also knew means uh, some type of graphic designing and then means i um, thought of means what should i what should i draw and then i came up with an idea means a pencil uh known as a rocket and of our ideas of our dreams just like i started i started imagining of thinking and i dreamt and those dreams now turning into a book and means i wanted means to every child to be inspired for this and i want for a thousand more can write so i uh, gave this and those names i put it in clouds of means out in uh, releasing them as thoughts and that's how the cover design was done and i also i was i i did the dtp i typed every uh, word of the book and and i was really happy on 16 december 2018 the book was finally published in uh, by uh, dr nagin saikya and i'm a literary figure of assam and with the presence of uh, uh, noted figures of assam including my uh, late grandfather hasan sharif ahmed who was also uh, literary noted a uh, noted literary figure of assam and then it was really a proud moment for my family and ever cuz uh there was means my father you my father wrote his first story when he was in grade 9 and my grandfather uh, also wrote his story when he was um uh, young age but it was the first time means um uh, uh, means for the means the youngest one of means to write a book means from the family means and then uh, my grandfather was an author my father is an author and uh, it is means slowly passing by and, and I, it is uh, really wonderful means when i when the, my book was in front of my eyes in my hands and i could see means i used to read books of others just like i said at the uh, previously arlsan and in blighton means now i can means see my own book in my hands and read it and it was so uh, it was such a wonderful feeling and just like uh, uh, henry van dyke said about literature it's just and robert frost used to say that writing is discovering and i discovered my thoughts and compiled them in the book and uh, here are uh, some glimpses and evolution you can see of my literary journey the first photo uh, is uh, with dr nagin saikya i just like i said so uh, it is a photo of uh, him with me uh, on my uh, book inaugural uh, program with uh, dr korbi the khazar and my mother said much there months and then also the other uh, from 2018 and the other picture is uh, from uh, 2019 when i uh, received the award youngest uh, writer of assam so that's another story so let's hope into that so after i published my debut book in 2019 i uh, was uh, conferred the youngest writer of assam by assam book of records on 31st october 2019 and and i was uh, uh, you can see i was hoping to another uh, achieve my my after my book publication it was my first achievement and it was such a wonderful uh, thing so uh, i was really um it's just slowly growing and soon uh, after a month on 14 november children's day 
I, in the third picture, you, you, we can see that um, in the third picture, I was uh, called to, uh, I was invited to Bokel High School of De Brugger, where uh, I was invited for a question and answer session with the students. And also, um, on at the same year, 2019, I was uh, one of the best performers in NASA International Space Science as a competition. That was also another achievement that I was really uh, delighted to see. And after the Children's Day, uh, then I was also invited to uh, a session on clean, uh, clean, clean De Brugger camp campaign, and it was. I was invited as a young author, uh, the youngest writer of Assam, and it was uh, really wonderful that uh, with my pen, today I'm standing there to uh, inspire everyone in um, a green earth. And as uh, means I, I was there as a young author, inspiring everyone. Means because my aim was always to motivate and inspire with the pen, and pen is mightier than the sword, and Pen has fought a lot of was with wars with words, and maybe my movement can bring out a change. So wish me luck for that. So uh, let's come to uh, the other slide, which is accumulation of Indian English literature. So let us uh, go with the definition. Indian English literature, IEL, also refers to as Indian writing in English, is the body of work by writers in India who write in the English language and whose native or co-native language could be one of numerous languages of India. So I guess you've uh, heard of writers just like uh, Arundhati Roy, Ruskin Bond, or you can say Chetan Bhagat, um, the numerous are Shiv Khera, uh, there are numerous authors. Uh, whose uh, writings fall in this category, Indian English literature, uh, which is written by uh, writers of India in English, uh, in literature, or a native or co-native co -native language could be one of the numerous languages of India. So uh, here we come uh, to, so have you seen uh, this picture before? So. Uh, it's really uh, rarely known, but uh, let me tell you that an Indian English literature was began in the year 1794. Uh, almost uh, now, after numerous years, it will be two centuries or three centuries, sorry. So uh, it was uh, Sheikh Din Muhammad, also Sheikh Din Muhammad, uh, an Indian surger, traveler and author, published his debut book, The Travels of Din Muhammad which has been recognized as the first book written by an Indian in English in the year 1794. Just imagine that. And he was also known for introducing Bengali cuisine and shampoo baths to Europe, where he used to offer therapeutic massage, massage and a mobilization of soft tissue to help relieve pain, reduce stress, and more. And another book was spent on this specified topic. I think this means really uh, a wonder I wonder, a thing of wonder too means believe means that in 1794, a person, Sheikh Din Muhammad, an Indian surgeon, a traveler and author, published his debut book, The Travels of Din Muhammad, which was, um, which started the movement of Indian English literature, and it was the first book written by an Indian in English. And so, Sheikh Din Muhammad, uh, who lived in, used to live in England, and he was, uh, he introduced a lot of things, just like I said, and it was the beginning of Indian English literature. And there are also uh, some facts of the increase of Indian literature. I guess you're familiar uh, with these two faces, Rabindranath Tagore and Dhan Gopal Mukherjee. Uh, so uh, Rabindranath Tagore, he was the first and only Indian to receive Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. So after uh, the 1794 a lot of uh, some indian authors wrote it then but he uh Tagore in 1913 became the first and only indian to receive nobel prize in literature uh, in 1913 uh, in 20th century and then we come to dhan gopal mukherjee who was became the first indian author to win a literary award in uh, the united states in 1928 uh, 15 uh, years after Rabindranath Tagore got the 
a Nobel Prize in Literature, Dhan Gopal Mukherjee uh, brought pride to India again and to continue the movement of Indian English literature. He was uh, the awardee of a literary award in the United States in 1928. And just uh, leave means two authors, Aminat Tagore and Gumba, at that time, before, uh, maybe before our grandparents were born, you can say, uh, for I'm saying this to the uh, children right here. So at that time, they brought out uh, Pride to India, Pride uh, to Indian English literature. They, pen books and Rabindranath Tagore used to pen books since 1800 and uh, I think I forgot the exact year so you can see how means the increase was growing from at that time since 1794 from Sheikh bin Muhammad to uh, till here you can uh, say about uh, there uh, Toru that and there are a lot of authors who were uh, writing at the period even uh, freedom fighters Jawaharlal Nehru Jawaharlal Nehru Mahatma Gandhi, they had their, uh, their written books. Jawaharlal Nehru's book, The Discovery of India, is known as one of the best books to know about in uh, the colonial period uh, for the history. And also Mahatma Gandhi's book uh, is one of the best, uh, My Experiment's Truth is one of the best autobiographies of India. And those, uh, you can see those words in that time penned by these great souls. And can see how the increase was moving on those books just imagine and how they were moving on even uh, on after uh, means i published my uh, book i was conferred the award then in 2019 december uh, 1 first december first december i created a facebook page a literature on screen which is now converted into a literature company so online literature company and so I thought of means promoting this Indian English literature to the next generation kids so they can learn about how at that time means great authors wrote it means why can't at this generation we can't why why we can't uh, keep this on and great authors just like Ruskin Bond and others have already uh, started this movement so let them those child authors be a part of it and I thought that means let us promote it and I also created a movement to reach my readers for Indian uh, English literature and then um, soon I published my first story and then to a numerous stories and poems uh, online and now you can see in Facebook means you uh, you tap something and means you can see means how means in one tap you can connect a million millions of people true means and literature is such a profound way to communicate it means it's really amazing when you uh, know that after before 20 years ago we uh, even 20 years ago yeah even 20 years ago we uh, people used to write letters to people to communicate and also then uh, they used to means uh, talking means uh, landlines and something with you can see at the present moment uh, means you don't have to uh, write in a letter you just mail it or uh, write a message in whatsapp or anything so and you can also uh, if you want to talk to someone you just uh, press the call button and in one second you're connected to the other person even you can talk to people a uh, thousand miles away from you other countries um, those uh, you can cross means that waves cross seven o means uh, seven seas means then lot uh, numerous means uh, those even means i i have experienced it i have even talked with means uh, from uh, the african continent or uh, from the uh, north america south america australia you can see means how means this technology has connected us and let us take this advantage develop indian english literature to take it to another level of uh, to promote it to uh, make it better than the best so uh, let us learn uh, some the effects uh, means some importance of indian english literature so the, uh, the indian english literature is really important and we uh, really need the preservation of works of esteemed indian authors since centuries ago they have written just like totally from 1794 
we need the preservation and the indian english literature means it's a role means it is important because uh, it plays a role a role played as a source of inspiration to budding authors of india even it has uh, inspired me to write uh, to do something and uh, there was a god means write something worth reading and and i means have been really inspired uh, by for the indian english literature and means we indians um have that will and means we can find out a way to promote this indian english literature and it also plays a role a uh, role played as a form of expressing thoughts of indian authors in english you've seen uh, books of ruskin bond so it's um, those books uh, he used to relate uh, with nature to express his thoughts can uh, the connection of uh, nature with the people in most of his books you can see those uh, short stories of uh, in villages those children he used to express his thoughts whatever coming even i express uh, thoughts means this book how he became angry and published with my expression of thoughts and it was so wonderful when you uh, think about that and so all it also it is uh, important because um, to the develop indian english indian writing in english and because now you can see uh, also along with the regional language there is a competition there is uh, someone another who joined the race and now it is the, that is the english literature and you can see how wonderful it has uh, green from at the time and so it is really important for the development of the english writing by the indian authors and it is also way to the growth and popularity of literary works by indian authors you can see those books rustin bond's books and uh, shikera and other books they uh, dr apj abdul kalam's wings of fire have is a uh, worldwide known and also books by uh, mahatma gandhi and uh, all i've tell you about their books have been recognized worldwide uh, among those other uh, books from the english uh, those countries uh, england america they have been listed among them you can see because india uh, with in the english literature is really important for the growth and popularity of those uh, literary works carried out by the present uh, the budding authors the upcoming generations authors who are coming up to grow and spread that uh, important means uh, the growth and popularity of those indian english literature and, means we uh, indian authors have been passing this knowledge to one to one another moving on since centuries and let us carry it on so uh, that's uh, it about uh, the indian english literature and i guess uh, you'll have uh, you'll carry it out i believe it and so let us uh, come to another point that is keys to unlock literary minds i means there uh, is uh, some there is there are some questions uh, those uh, means children used to sometimes used to mail me or ask me or sometimes uh, used to ask me on even talk show host I means some very talk show have asked me means how can we write and means how to write a story means how to write a poem or how to write something means how can i also be an author so i say that everyone is an author but you need to discover that because is just like i said writing is uh, discovering discovering of thoughts discovering of expressions so my uh, first suggestion to you is uh, read books of all genres to have a taste of every flavor of literature to enrich the literary skills cuz i read fictional books non fictional books drama books and uh, thriller books mystery books everything so so that you'll get a taste um, of all those uh, flavors of literature to enrich your skills uh, vocabulary and everything you um need to read books of all the genres and uh then uh, i also uh, suggest uh, means uh, means your a beautiful idea means that comes in your cuz uh, whatever you say means sometimes when you dream means in dreams we see stories that uh, happens with us since why can we means uh, translate means uh, turn them into stories and that uh, beautiful idea can turn into a short composition or a long anything means just as a startup and the next thing you should do is to review it reviewing it as a reviewer it's just like uh, you've seen book reviews so review it your composition as a reviewer and, and try to read the composition as a reader reading the composition as a reader is really important to to see means uh, 
because I used to means whenever I complete uh, writing uh, stories or uh, poems which are in uh, also some of them in books which are inside my computer. So I used to read them again and again as a reader means because once means you are uh, fully skilled with uh, reading books of all genres means uh, you can tell if did your composition is good or bad as a reader. Is it worth reading? And have you written something worth reading? And this, I believe, these four points can, means can help uh, you and everyone to un means every to minds to unlock those minds, the literary minds, because that crave means the creative part of the brain that moves on. And just like Indian English later, we Indians can uh, do something means great, and other also from people from other countries. Uh, so if you're watching this, so uh, means everyone means just need to uh, unlock their literary minds because you can see means uh, it, our minds are a uh, closed door when we were uh, when we are children then we need to unlock it with the keys and i believe these are the keys that can help unlock the literary minds and so uh, here we come to the next slide which is uh, books and its prime importance so uh, my first point is books connect you to another world of imagination books uh, uh, that help you to connect to the another world of imagination uh, the connectivity you can see means well, whenever i dream whenever i used to visualize the stories means i used to means i was I, I feel like connected to another world where means i could see everything means uh, those characters i dream about the the world i dream about the uh, climate, uh, the areas, or you can say means and those. Yeah, I guess you have seen means those. Uh, you've uh, written. Uh, sorry, I you have read those books of Panchatantra. Then you can see means uh, means I use means in those means animals uh, story means you can even mean see yourself as a uh, lion, as a tiger, the Lion King. You can see means uh, if you feel uh, that you are uh, the main lion, you see in the, uh, that uh, that uh, lion. So it means you can see that means a means a world where uh, deers are moving and the river is flowing and you can see the leaves are rustling. So it's really wonderful when you think about that. And my second point is books provide knowledge to kids, students, and everyone. Yes, it does, and even it has provided um, a lot of knowledge to me. So that means to help me to uh, enrich my skills for literature and before means I was an author means I used to read a lot of books especially and I remember I uh, bought my first book which was an encyclopedia and it was written my complete encyclopedia and it was and I used to read means those facts and means I also also notice how they write means those style means they write means um, the scientific name of cat is Felis Catus they say means it is means uh, the facts means uh, means the way of writing means, uh, means uh, if in easy word we can say like uh, the scientific name of cat is Felis cat, but means they write like means um, we all know that uh, a cat with whose scientific name is Felis cat is and the, to our information. It's, you can see means the shaping, the designing. You see means to this means to make a house beautiful. You need to design that house. You need to design that house means. You need to decorate it. We means you know, in Diwali. You means uh, in Indians means you used to light um, put diyas and means light with uh, firecrackers and you can see means what a wonderful decoration in Diwali you can see. It's, it's, uh, you can uh, notice in every festival means the means Diwali is known as a color of lights and means you can see how wonderful it looks means with lights and just like uh, it uh, designs uh, us means. It designs us means uh, uh, the, uh, just like I stated it designs means you need to means design it design that uh, those means lines you write just you guess you can say um, uh, cow means you can write means a cow is an animal but means you can write a uh, cow uh, is an animal that is cattle means you can uh, add some means uh, moving and shaping things because uh, you can say a uh, Rajasthal and uh, Rajasthal, his uh, brother is short, but we used to always write like that Rajasthal, but his brother is short. You can see means um, those conjunctions, prepositions, adjectives, verbs, everything means 
it's so wonderful means uh, means when you uh, write when you um, express your thoughts means and see means uh, people um, in the early centuries it provided us the knowledge means the literature it is us means means we've got the uh, fa facility we got everything means the knowledge everything and we just need to move on to promote literature and my third point is books sharpen minds and strengthen brain brains so yes it does and i really believe this because uh, it means you can see those uh, books uh, i because I don't know means about you, but I, I used to means read them. Uh, I mean, also along with encyclopedias, I used to read those um, GK books. Uh, there is shown with general knowledge books, and I used to read them. Means uh, there is given who was the first prime minister of India, who was the first president of India, then uh, which is largest democracy in the world, uh, who was the chairman of the Indian Constitution. Those uh, especially those are uh, Indian uh, general knowledge books of, of India. Then who was the first uh, female author of uh, India who uh, wrote, I means female novelist uh, of India, writing in English. Do you know that? So it's, I've only mentioned his name before, Toru Dutt. And you can see means that uh, that helped us sharpen our minds towards means uh, knowledge, towards intelligence, and towards perfection of imagination, and means also strengthen our brains, means that you can see those uh, these mad books. Uh, they also means, Everything means uh, us means you can see a film where you watch films. So uh, in films you can see means the film before it means before it is filmed, it was a uh, script part of literature. You before means you have heard songs. Uh, there means songs are numerous. Uh, means uh, a lot of authors now nowadays it's very famous. Means uh, you can see a lot of Hollywood uh, Hollywood singers, Bollywood singers, and. We all have a favorite one, and means you can see those uh, that those songs means uh, just look means means I used to always uh, read the lyrics also means uh, means you can see means how wonderful means uh, the lyrics are penned and you can means uh, see that means those before the song was sung it was part of literature you can see a play uh, before it is means people have played the drama you can see means it's uh, the scripts you can see it's a part of literature screenplay everything it's uh everything means connecting to the performing arts you can see it's, everything is literature you just um means those uh playwrights just like william shakespeare he was a playwright and one of the greatest playwright in english literature in, in the world because his plays just like hamlet the 12th night everything means you can see how wonderfully he has spent and it is means those things mean every uh, things means those even as the textbooks we studied part of literature and everything means sharpen our minds and strengthen those brains towards creativity towards perfection in literature and then we come to the next point which is books uh, improve readers writing speaking and composing skills yes it does uh, uh, so the it helps in the improvement of means the readers uh, writing speaking composing skills because um, just uh, means uh, just like i said to enrich your skill you need to read books of every genre and genre and it's uh, it helps you to for uh, the improvement of writing and also means uh, you can see about uh, this uh, speaking uh, speaking skills it will help us develop speaking skills and also uh, help us uh, develop some uh, speaking skills by means uh, you can read means those uh, means you can learn about means when you means uh, think means uh, when you uh, means you don't need a dictionary while reading because once you read means uh, you if you understand the other words means that word means will be easily understood and it can means those uh, can in, uh, help you in means framing things in, while speaking and Means this means just like it happened to me. Means I was never a speaker. Uh, means uh, before. Means I uh, means after I wrote. Means it helped me also in my speaking skills and also composing skills, which comes in the writing side and the composition. Means just like it did uh, said of means turning those uh, the beautiful idea of your dreams into composition. And means that can be any idea. Means if you mean sometimes we just carried dreams and. Do you know means uh, those means uh, you can see those uh, horror writing authors Stephen King. Um, yes, you've seen those movies. Uh, it, it chapter two and means those 
movies uh, goosebumps are stein means those you can see means how wonderfully means means i feel means when i read means i feel like means i'm in that world and means uh, books of means nowadays children read journey must tilton you can see means you feel like means you are the journey must tilton in mouth means uh, roaming around all of the story and books also improve emotional development and share mind awareness and the mindfulness and it also help us in uh, the emotional development and in the previous points means i can hear i think believe you can understand this point really properly in a proper manner and the last uh, point is books help you to travel the world in pages and yes it's true so uh, you can see the uh, right uh, means you can see the picture there uh, means pages so in each page you can see means there is given uh, means and there is a narrative of means uh, you can say new york or you can say in the australia thailand singapore uh, sudan or uh, south africa then uh, brazil malaysia everywhere means you can travel anywhere means in those pages means you can see because uh, that uh, this goosebumps series it happens uh, in uh, that uh, american uh, side area and jk rowling harry potter it happens in sites of England and means even those Indian authors means you can learn uh, in Ruskin Bond books about uh, in travel Dehradun and means those hilly areas in his books. You can see means how wonderfully means the authors are given the chance to travel the world. We means I used to means uh, I learned about means a lot of things, a lot of cities, a lot of uh, countries, a lot of states means in those pages. It is really wonderful means. I know means uh, read means uh, see means you, know, you can means travel the world in those pages and it uh, means uh, traveling it's really wonderful and means uh, when you means when I when we I sit in a library means it's means I used to means there means there are a thousand books and I feel like finishing them means finishing them one by one but <laughs> and it's means when I sit in the school library I used to means take out uh, books from means Especially, I used to read uh, those uh, historical books, and it's so wonderful means reading that. So, so this I believe these points help you means can help you means for uh, in the connectivity to another world imagination. Uh, the books provide means providing knowledge to kids, students, and everyone, sharpening minds and strengthening the brains, the cre creativity towards perfection of everything. So, and also improving readers' writing, speaking, and composing skills. Uh, improving uh, emotional development, sharing mind awareness, and then uh, helping us to travel the globe uh, in pages. Even we travel uh, not only the world, actually, we uh, also travel uh, to the uh, solar system. Means uh, we read those books, uh, I guess you read them by Stephen Hawking, and, and means those books means you can see about the Big Bang Theory, means uh, those we read about uh, Milky Way, the galaxy, and black hole. So it's such a wonder. I mean, books are really a uh, wonder. So, uh, so I'd like to uh, uh, state a quote by Albert Einstein that the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge but imagination. It's uh, really true, and I really follow this. And I've, I mean, stated this quote almost uh, more than ten times in when I uh, was invited in different events. I means I used to say that because. It really creates an impact, and it's a wonderful quote stated by him that uh, the act means the true sign of intelligence isn't knowledge, but it's imagination. Just means in the previous slides you can learn about means literature means I used to imagine things, and that helped me means uh, that can help you means to become intelligent. To the it can give provide you the true sign of intelligence. We are, and it's the true sign it's not uh, knowledge but always imagination and i hope you'll follow that just like i do so uh thank you everyone and i believe you have a bookish journey ahead and you can see those uh, the picture at the background so there is a library of uh, numerous books so i guess means everyone's uh, really feeling hungry means to taste those flavors of those books and means even I means when I see this picture means oh when I when will I means get the chance to go to a library again and means 
we complete all those books there. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a bookish joy of means darkful journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Riyadh. Uh, it was a very insightful uh, session, and uh, yes, I, I hope uh, yes, uh, participants have learned uh, uh, so many, you know, uh, insightful information and ways how they can foster literature and how they can, you know, come up with uh, uh, various uh, ideas to step up and initiate something in this uh, literature world, and specifically emphasizing on the Indian literature yes. part. Where uh, they can carry on the legacy of uh, you know our uh, uh, Indian uh, you know uh, writers, authors, and yes, poets. Sir. Yeah. So participants, mm, if you have uh, any uh, yes, yes, yes. Participants, any yes, doubt yes, or you'd like to interact uh, with Riyadh, you can. So you know, uh, this this session that we are you are attending and uh, we are hosting uh, is brought to you by Skillshare Kajutik in, in association with uh, the Clippers Child Council of India. And I am very glad to and very proud and glad to say that uh, Riyadh Maru Hassan is the uh, founder of the Clippers uh, uh, Child Council of India. So you know, uh, that is that is how it reflects that we need to step up and we need to you know uh, uh, initiate. Definitely, many people will join, and uh, the the positive impact will uh, will will come. Yes, and uh, also, and uh, uh, this uh, we uh, the Clippers Child Council of India and Skillshare Tech uh, together started uh, this initiative, Seven Days Seven Skills, and it's um, really wonderful. It means today, interacting uh, in the third uh, day of this. A workshop series um, for to promote and means Indian English literature and the literature I spoke uh, of uh, the world and means it's really uh, wonderful means that uh, writing writing because there has always been a question means every uh, one from me I means every time when I whenever I means I was invited to any show means they used to means say means means what means how we can write and means. It's just, just imagining. I mean, it's just imagination. The true side of uh, intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. And I believe you means you can go for, means move forward with this motto by Sir Albert Einstein. And uh, I guess means there are uh, readers from uh, means books, just like I mentioned uh, from Goosebumps. So, so I guess means uh, means uh, a lot of means now uh, read, uh, especially Goosebumps, Secret Seven, Famous Five. Means uh, the children of now means and you know I uh, means I encourage you to read means more and more books and means if you think means you can means uh, your uh, aim is means uh, I think means I can write uh, fictional stories means it's you means really uh, means can and if means if you are means if you have a will to do something or to change something means uh, there is always a way and when there is a will there is a way we say that and. Let's take out the perfect definition for it, and I believe today's uh, event has defined everybody. So, uh, Riyadh, uh, there is one question uh, yes, in the sir. chat box saying that how many books you have written? Yes, sir. And uh, so, uh, so this is uh, so Nana Bhimani. So uh, I have written uh, uh, one book which I published uh, two years ago, and now I'm also coming with my upcoming book, which is which will be published uh, in a month, I guess, and. I have written almost uh, uh, more than one hundred uh, something stories. I I actually didn't make a count. I just I the count I made it was two to three months ago. So I need to recount it. And but I means uh, now I'm been uh, especially focusing on very this. nice. Yes, thank you, sir. And very and nice. now yeah, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, now I means also means in the computer means you can. Uh, uh, if you means you ever come to my house, you can see means there are uh, means a lot of means uh, stories, poems, and even novels means I've uh, completed, which will be in slowly published uh, to you and means let the um, curiosity go in. And so there is another question by Rakesh Monty. Uh, it's Siddhita, I guess. 
isn't it? Siddhita? Mr. Riyad? Yes, uh, just one. Um, I also write, I mean, I read a lot of books. I've got a mini library in my house. And yeah. uh, I've got my Kindle too. I've, I've read many books. Uh, you're my inspiration. Um, I've started uh, uh, writing, I mean, um, during this COVID period, I've started reading a lot of yeah. fantasy books. And uh, um, I'm looking forward to publish a book like you in the future. Ugh, thank you uh, very much for this beautiful. Yeah, means I believe means you can do it because uh, means reading is means reading is the way to means uh, you can say uh, to go to means you can uh, means if you read fantasy books to so means let me say means uh, you're in a means uh, do you read uh, Goosebumps or Harry Potter? Ah uh, yes, I've read both of them. Okay, and Secret Seven series. Um, I look forward to it. Okay, so Jasper, uh, all the very best, all the very best, Jasper. Thank you, thank and, you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, glad, glad to see that you know uh, you are heading towards the uh, <laughs> that literature world, and uh, all the very best, best of luck. Thank and you, sir. Uh, if you need any input, support, feel free to you know uh, contact us. We would be very happy to you know support you or help you in any sure, or assist sir. you in any way possible. Yeah. And uh, for okay. all the participants, uh, this, this session will be recorded. The recorded session will be, you know, uploaded on the YouTube channel, and the link will be circulated in the group as well. So, you know, you can uh, revisit or uh, you know re reconsider uh, the session again if you want to explore uh, again. And uh, some, you know, we'll we'll keep posting some tips with regards to how to write a book and uh, the things as well uh, on on uh, the, the Clippers page and uh, Skill Shark page, uh, so that you will be, you know, the getting some. Uh, fruitful, uh, insightful information. Yes, thank you, sir. And uh, just one uh, means, uh, do you read uh, uh, books like means uh, Percy Jackson or something means relating to fantasy? I'm saying. I've read all the Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus, uh, Magnus Chase, Trials of Apollo. I've completed all of them. Lightning Thief and means. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, and means uh, means uh, fantasy means it's because even means my first book. Uh, is it's uh fantasy so it's uh means uh means it was dedicated to fantasy of means six superheroes with uh some natural supernatural powers and means fantasy means uh, even means i started with uh means reading goosebumps means i means almost read uh every means goosebumps uh, book means if means if there is a little means those are uh, means uh how means uh those Things means evolve means you can see means in that means I means in those Harry Potter books means especially in Harry Potter books means I uh, encourage you to means those read means especially read books then uh, watch movies and means in those books you can see those means uh, that words means uh, J.K. Rowling the she uses means to means uh, you can see means you can learn a lot of means you can enrich your skills from that and it's uh, really wonderful to know means uh, that uh, just in which uh, grade are you studying in? I am right now in eighth grade. Yeah, so so you'll be a friend of mine. So I means uh, means uh, wish uh, you best wishes uh, as a friend. So thank you, thank you. You can means I means and also means uh, I believe you can means publish a book soon. And a book means uh, a book contains all your expression thoughts, just like it's a writing is discovering. So I encourage you to do that. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Thank you. So. Now I come to uh, Siddhita uh, Siddha Mohanty's question: How to start writing a book? So, uh, it's uh, book means there's not something special. Means I'll uh, I'm thinking of something. Means I think that uh, I should start with uh, that uh, topic. Means I'll start with no. Means it's not like as uh, means you can see everything. Means if you means uh, though I used to write my stories like means uh, relating myself as a uh, prime uh, means as a lead role just like means. I used to mean just like I say, I visualize in I know in my dreams and means you can uh, start means uh, it means those means you can turn those dreams into those means uh, some you can take out something beautiful from that uh, means beautiful idea because um, you can means there are a lot of means uh, means those books means uh, and means reading means can help you uh, for that and means. Uh, reading means really reading books just like you can you, know, you have seen means uh, we already have a young author here just went uh, data so means means just one this means a young author means you can see means he means uh, means he uh, he started reading books 
and you means those also those Percy Jackson books means you need to read means for uh, along with Harry Potter those books means help you to enrich your skills means your vocabulary your those uh, words you can see means it feels like means when I uh, started means reading that uh, book Treasure Island by Robert B. Stevenson when I was just in grade uh, three or four means it was means uh, it was like a jumbling of words means how means how much hard it means he can put that means. <laughs> It's how much hard means you can write means in by Robert Lewis. And even in when I read Harry Potter means it was uh, really tough for me to understand when I was grade three or four means means how much it means hard uh, those words means they become but slowly means when you start reading other books it means it uh, then uh, you come to the Harry Potter something like uh, those books means you can means really get an idea to means and it's really uh means wonderful means when uh the means if you can means turn your ideas into a book so i hope uh i cleared or uh i answered this question properly Sujita. yes riyad uh, one more thing riyad uh, yes, uh, a few people are asking about uh, where to contact and also uh, in chat box we have uh, posted uh page link of skillshark page link of the yes, clippers sir. council and uh, yes, linkedin a profile of uh, Riyadh, yes, so you can you know feel free to uh, contact. All right, uh, so uh, shall we conclude, Riyadh? Yes, and I've also uh, provided uh, my uh, mail email address so that yes, uh, if you great, means great. Um, yes, so that means yeah. uh, means you can go and form his uh, events uh, suggestions later. And uh, if anyone means uh, want to uh, ask something or yeah. And uh, in the video description, we'll, we'll put your email ID as well as uh, your profile links and uh, uh, some coordinates so that uh, they can you know freely contact you. All right. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, uh, sir. Thanks a lot uh, for all the participants for joining us for uh, today's session. Uh, we wish that uh, you know more authors, uh, more uh, you know uh, literature enthusiasts, and uh, more poets and you know uh, people will be coming forward. Uh, kids will be coming forward, and uh, you know. Uh, heading to towards the the world of literature. Uh, all the very best to all, uh, specifically Jaswant. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, wish to see you soon uh, again. And uh, yeah, thank you, Riyadh. Uh, thanks for the wonderful session. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. And, uh, means uh, thank you. today's quote. So yeah, thank you, Jaswant. So thank you, Achyasa, and everyone for uh, coordinating with me and uh, joining today. And really, I think uh, Achyasa for uh, Coordinating this program uh, for organizing this and also so I'd like to end uh, this session with a uh, wonderful quote uh, it means just like I said about dreams so uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam uh, used to say that dreams are not what you see in sleep it is something which doesn't let you sleep and that's uh, another quote that I'd like I uh, encourage you to means uh, take it up in your uh, motto of the literary life and so let's move together in this movement and I hope to see uh, uh, hundreds of authors in, uh, in the next year upcoming and I sure. and I really means hope that uh, those authors include just one. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Yeah, well. Surely, surely, surely. Yes. All right, then uh, yeah, the, let's conclude here. Thanks a lot yes. again for joining. Uh, now, you know, uh, uh, you can leave the session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.